Now let's move on to discuss the levels of organization in the human body. Organization at the chemical level and the tissue level. Let's begin with organization at the chemical level. The human body is made up of some key elements. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. These are shown in the table on the right along with their percent overall body composition. Also are macromolecules such as water, proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates. The main elements within the human body are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, and they account for approximately 99% of all the atoms in our body. Organization at the level of the atom. The chemical level is the basic structure of which all substances are composed. This includes atoms. Atoms are the smallest unit of matter that participates in reactions, as well as molecules. Molecules are when two or more atoms join together. Atoms are combined to make higher ordered structures. The next level is the amino acid protein level. Amino acids are linked by peptide bonds to make proteins. Proteins have primary, secondary, and tertiary structures. Proteins can then be organized into cytoskeletal elements such as a filament. For example, as in the heart muscle shown here. Cellular organization is the next level. That includes the cell itself, including its cytoplasm and the organelles within it. The most basic structural and functional unit of an organism is the cell. It's the smallest living unit of the human body. Next is the tissue level. Cells and supportive structures are organized into the tissue level. As in this example here, cardiac muscle tissue. Tissues are groups of cells and their surrounding environment which work together to produce a specific function. There are four main types of tissues in humans. Epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous tissue. Following the tissue level is the organ level. Organs are structures that are made of two or more different types of tissues. They have specific functions and a defined shape. For an example, the heart. The heart is made of muscle as well as connective and nervous tissue. The system level of organization. Organs work together to form a system. For example, the cardiovascular system. A system consists of related organs that have a common function. Finally, the highest level of organization is the organism. Systems come together to form an organism. Organisms are capable of growth, development, reproduction, and responding to stimuli in their environment.